Hello and welcome to this November 22nd, 2010 video version of Invested Central's Chart of the Day. I'm Tom Boley, Invested Central's Chief Market Strategist, and it's my pleasure to provide you today's Chart of the Day. This Chart of the Day is brought to you by StockCharts.com, simply the web's best financial charts. Today we're taking a look at the uh, equity-only put-call ratio on stock charts. You can pull that up by uh, typing in the dollar sign CPCE, dollar sign CPCE. Um, the chart that I'm showing you here, let me just give you a quick um, description of what this is. Down at the bottom, you're going to see the daily readings of the equity-only put-call ratio. So every day of every month for the last eight months, you'll see that the equity-only put-call ratio goes up and down. The uh, Just above that, we've got the S&P 500 on a daily basis, and then above that is the PPO, um, which is a 65 um, PPO uh, looking at two different moving averages, the 60-day EMA and the 5-day EMA. And what I'm really looking to do is to smooth out the short term of the equity-only put-call ratio and then smooth out the long term and compare the two. When the five-day moving average really starts to sway um, away from the 60-day moving average, then the market is into one of those pendulum motions where the market's just getting too far ahead of itself to one in one direction or the other. That's really what this um, looks to, to measure. So when you see big moves to the upside like this, um, uh, this really high ratio, anytime it gets up to about 20% or higher, uh, anywhere near 20% really, but especially if it gets to 20% or higher, it's starting to tell you that the market's very complacent. Any move down to minus 20% or lower tends to indicate that the market's getting very pessimistic, and as a result, you're probably at or near a significant bottom. Now, each of these uh, highs that were uh, marked in the ratio or the lows in the ratio you can see there were also some uh, arrows placed on the S&P 500 at these key levels just to indicate this these are areas where the market could turn based on complacency relative complacency and relative pessimism um, doesn't always work obviously it depends on a lot of other factors this is just one indicator and I have never found any one indicator to be a guarantee in the stock market so we do have to take it into in the context of it just being one indicator and we have to look for other uh, corroborating signals. Now I mentioned in my stock charts article over the weekend um, that back in April there were a lot of corroborating indications that suggested the market was going to top for a period of time among those other indicators we had financials that were lagging the market. That was a bearish indication. Interest rates had turned lower. They had peaked out in early April and they had started heading lower, which meant bonds were rising. So money was heading into bonds. Obviously, that takes away from money that can head into equities. We had a daily long term negative divergence and weekly long term negative divergences. Those weekly negative divergences were especially problematic because they tend to indicate that momentum will slow for a longer period of time. The biggest difference between April and November, I believe, it, uh, are those long-term negative divergences on the MACD. In April, we had them, suggesting that we were going to have problems for many months, potentially many months. Now, we don't have them. Actually, the divergences on the weekly charts are actually pretty strong, um, so that as long as uh, you know we don't lose, say, the 20-week exponential moving averages which on the Dow Jones puts down around 10,880 or so as long as those levels hold I would expect this weakness to be rather short term and I'm looking based on the complacency numbers uh, for this pullback to be short term and perhaps some uh, additional gains to be seen by the market in the weeks ahead I hope you've enjoyed our presentation today be sure to check out our chart of the day every day at investedcentral.com while you're there, sign up for our free weekly Market Pulse newsletter and have the chart of the day emailed directly to you. Happy trading.